Ladies and gentlemen, the Deputy President Rigadi Gashagwa is finished, completely finished, politically speaking. The person that Rigadi was depending on to rescue his political career ahead of the 2027 general elections has also dumped Rigadi Gashagwa. He has also turned against the DP regarding Gashagwa. I'm talking about the former head of state, Uhuru Mugei Kenyatta. Now, there's this famous proverb that says, a pig fries itself in its own oil, or a pork cooks itself in its own fat. Now, this proverb here can be used to describe the DP, Rigadi Kashagwa. This is after Uhuru Kenyatta's shocking response to the DP. And I will actually read for you the statement, a strong message by Uhuru to the DP, Rigadi Kashagwa. Uhuru Kenyatta has also defended President William Ruto and Raila Odinga's handshake ahead of the 2027 general elections while dismissing Rigadi Gashagwa's apology. But this is exactly why Uhuru Kenyatta had to respond, why Uhuru Kenyatta found it necessary to respond to the DP Rigadi Gashagwa directly. Because we have all understood how Uhuru Kenyatta plays politics behind the scenes. Uhuru Kenyatta never ever responds to any politician invoking his name publicly for political survival. Why did Uhuru Kenyatta respond to the DP this time round? Five days ago, which was on 20th of September 2024, on Friday, during an exclusive interview at Citizen TV, the DP Rigadi Gashagwa was asked by Sam Gituku of Citizen to describe his current political status with the former head of state Uhuru Muge Kenyatta and the Kenyatta family. In my opinion, the only reason as to why Sam Gituku had to ask the DP that particular question and why it was so, so important, it is because ahead of the 2022 general elections, if you can still remember very well, Rigadi Gashagwa's main political enemy was Uhuru Mwege Kenyatta. And the only mistake that Uhuru did that led to the fallout with Rigadi Gashagwa, remember Rigadi was Uhuru Kenyatta's PA, Uhuru endorsed Raila Odinga for president in the 2022 general elections. So Rigadi Gashagwa was very angry at Uhuru Kenyatta's decision, was out there insulting Uhuru Kenyatta. Nili mutoa kwa ba, alikuwa mulevi. Nika muuta, nika musaidia, nika mfanya, haka kuwa raizu wa jamuri ya Kenya. Ame rogwa na raira, ame negeuka. Ame niangaisha. Ume nitedea kama mnyama. Ume nitesa kama mtu ujui. Na mimi diyo ni kusaidia mpaka kwa kuwa raizu wa Kenya. Sisi tumekupenda, tumekusaidia, tulikuchukua we mtoto ya Seranak. Hukuwa unajua chochote, hukuwa ndujui bayi ya unga, hujui bayi ya mukate, hujui bayi ya, 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 ya nguo, hakuna kitu ulikuwa. Rigadi Gashagwa was disrespecting Uhuru Kenyatta's mother, Mama Ngina Kenyatta, in public, abusing her. And even after the 2022 general elections, Rigadi Gashagwa never stopped. Rigadi went ahead and organized some goons to attack Uhuru Kenyatta's land. They stole Uhuru Kenyatta's goods. Up to date, the goods haven't been recovered. Rigadi Gashagwa also ensured 
that Uhuru Kenyatta's political party, the Jubilee Party, is dead completely. Because Rigadi was the one who engineered the, the divisions within Uhuru Kenyatta's Jubilee Party. And Rigadi Gashagwa also supported the withdrawal of Uhuru Kenyatta's security together with the security details of Mamangena Kenyatta. So the DP Rigadi Gashagwa did all this just to revenge on Uhuru Kenyatta for supporting Raila Odinga ahead of the previous 2022 general elections. So in that interview, Rigadi Gashagwa said it very well, that he is currently regretting for the mistakes that he did to Uhuru Kenyatta. Rigadi Gashagwa has publicly apologized to Uhuru and the Kenyatta family. I want you to listen to Rigadi Gashagwa, how he responded to Sam Gituku, saying that his current political status with Uhuru is perfect. It is excellent to an extent that Rigadi Gashagwa described Uhuru Kenyatta as the undisputed kingpin of the larger Mount Kenya region. Just listen to this clip here. Does that mean Uhuru Kenyatta is still the king of the mountain? Oh, yes, yes. You do know? Uhuru Kenyatta is the undisputed king of the mountain. And what is your relationship with him? Good. Brotherly. When did you do that? Oh, we talk. But again, it turns out that the DP Rigadi Gashagwa also lied in what he said during that interview concerning his status with the former head of state, Uhuru Kenyatta. Uhuru has never ever spoken with the DP Rigadi Gashagwa. So today, Uhuru Kenyatta actually responded directly to the DP and he dismissed Rigadi Gashagwa's apology. Before I read for you Uhuru Kenyatta's statement, just a quick reminder that if you are listening to me and you haven't subscribed to this channel, I want you to take one second or two and just subscribe down below for you to be able to receive more factual political details in this channel. You can also give this video a like just to appreciate my work and also for YouTube to recommend this video in particular and this entire channel to reach out to more people. Because I believe that is the only way that we can improve this channel to grow. So to my returning subscribers, I really want to appreciate you also for your continued support. Because without that support, this channel cannot be where it is. Thank you so much. I want you to follow this analysis to the end. It is very interesting. Let us begin from here. Let me read for you Uhuru Kenyatta's statement responding to the DP Rikadi Kashiago. He's saying that. Let me just show you. Through Jeremiah Kioni. Jeremiah Kioni is the Secretary General of the Jubilee Party, which belongs to Uhuru. So whatever Jeremiah Kioni says, it comes directly from the former head of state, Uhuru Kenyatta. He only delivers Uhuru Kenyatta's message. So he said this, anyone going around the country claiming that he asked for forgiveness and he has been forgiven is lying. Uhuru Kenyatta has not met any of them and has not held discussions with them. Did they seek permission when they were abusing him? Then why are they engaging him now? Let them not drag Uhuru Kenyatta into their drama. There's something that I have noticed about Rigadi Gashagwa and Uhuru. That first of all, the reason as to why Rigadi Gashagwa had to lie invoking Uhuru Kenyatta's name was because of political survival, especially in the larger Mount Kenya region. 
because Rigathi Gashago understands that mentioning Uhuru Kenyatta's name will save him. Currently, no politician, no leader in the Mount Kenya region want to associate with the DP Rigathi Gashago. They are endorsing the CS for interior, Kidure Kindiki. Even the elders, the Jurinjeke, held a meeting, over 2,500 of them, to endorse Kidure Kindiki. <laughs> In fact, the people who want Rigati Gashagwa to be removed, to be kicked out, to be impinged as the DP, are the leaders from the larger Mount Kenya region. In fact, currently, they are signing. The MPs are signing. The motion will be very soon. And the DP will be impeached. The second thing that I have noticed is that Rigadika Shagwa had to lie about his status with Uhuru Kenyatta just to counter President William Samuel Arapruto and his allies. Remember, Rigadi and Ruto are in a very bitter fallout. So when you listen to that video full, there's a place where Rigadi Gashagwa is saying that William Ruto was the one who told him to attack Uhuru Kenyatta and the Kenyatta family because Uhuru was supporting Raila Odinga. That is why Rigadi Gashagwa is also saying, when you listen to that video, that he is currently regretting, he is calling himself a stupid person because the same same William Ruto is currently working closely together with Ray Lodinga ahead of the 2027 generations. And thirdly, what I've also discovered is that Rigathi Gashagwa had to lie just to capture the attention of the former head of state. Uhuru Mwege Kenyatta. Rigadi wanted to see Uhuru Kenyatta's response, his reaction. Because remember that Rigadi Gashagwa has been mentioning Uhuru Kenyatta's name in public, but Uhuru never responds. Uhuru Kenyatta has been so silent. So the DP Rigadi Gashagwa wanted to see Uhuru Kenyatta's reaction. That is it, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know what you think. I would like to know your thoughts and your opinions in the comment section down below. Otherwise, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more political updates. Let me see you in my next video analysis. Remember, my name is Jason. Have a good night.